Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to go through the Fab Fit Fun Fall or if in the UK Autumn Box. This box First of all, packaging, absolutely love it. Pink colours, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Let's just dive on in, shall we? It's not the biggest of boxes, but we have learned over the years with Fabfit Fun that size doesn't matter. Um, now, I did get a few add-ons this time because I'm going away on holiday very, very shortly. I wanted to get a couple of things to add on, so I'll go through them first. As always, we have got the magazine, which has got loads of good and useful things in there. And there's always um, discount codes in the back as well. So they always give you like a page of things that are in the, mag in the magazine, in the box that they can discount for you. Um, and the discounts run all the way up until January. So that's really, really cool. So it's something you like, you've got time to use it, and then you can go and get discounts. And it does give you a little um, QR code to scan for some more exclusive offers. So I will be checking that out. I'm just gonna dive on in. So I'll go through the things I added on first. So that's not part of the package. So one of the first things I added on, and I'm quite excited about these, are packing cubes. Never used packing cubes before, and everyone keeps raving about them. And I was looking on Amazon at them, couldn't decide, and then they came up in the FabFitFun. And I think I added them on for oh, a couple of pounds. It was nothing. So I've got them to give them a go, and if I like them, then I'll add to them to do more. So that's a number one. Uh, second thing I got was actually, we've had it before, it's the Spun Gel um, body wash, body treatment, but it's the men's. It's for my husband for holiday and it's an all-in-one. So it says 20, 20 plus washes. So that'll do him for a fortnight. And oh, it smells really, really man manly, manual, really, really manly. So he's going to be happy with that. Okay, so we also added on these black eye patches sucker for good eye patch and these are the pumpkin fresh peppers to minimize puffiness and dryness kind of got them because i know i'm going to be suffering jet lag soon and i use the um eye rejuvenator ones once a week but they're you shouldn't use them more than three times and they're way too expensive to do it anyway but i can kind of start adding these in to get a couple of times session watch it it'll be every night for the first two nights i'm back uh, next thing we added on was a kitsch hair clip because who doesn't love a hair clip? Um, I love Kish, 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 however you say it actually. It was pretty colour, added it on. And finally, one of them, but it was the, the Honest Beauty Vitamin C. I'm intrigued by this company. Um, I haven't used Honest products before, but I really want to try them. We didn't have them so much in the UK, but they are now with us in Cult Beauty. And I've actually got a Cult Beauty um, box they put together for Radiant Skin. And there's an Honest Beauty face wash in there, so I can't wait to try this. But this is the Vitamin C Radiant Serum. So it says, hmm, their honest purpose is to empower people to live healthy, happy lives. Wow, I like that. So this is literally just, you apply it, um, you apply it before your moisturiser and use it morning and night. So, how does it say? Just, well, radiance. I'm going to be radiating beautifulness. One can hope. Excited. Okay, so let's actually dive in now and see what they gave us. Um, I did my pickings and I, as always, I forgot about them and there are some things I didn't know. So I'm just going to go straight on in there. Okay, so number one, we have the Glow Recipe Watermelon smell of watermelon. I mean look at her. How beautiful is she? I mean if nothing else she's going to look beautiful in your vanity but it is the the jelly moisturizer. Hydrating, soothing, rave reviews about this. Just going to check. That's that signature scent but absolutely happy with this. It's a heavy glass one. I'm not going to take it on holiday with me because it's probably going to take up most of my weight. But I can't wait to start trying this when I come back. As, as um, autumn and winter approaches, I notice that my skin tends to get a little bit drier. I'm quite lucky with my skin, but it does go a little bit drier in the in the uh, the autumn and the winter. So I do like to use a more nourishing cream then. My, my favourite is either the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream, the normal Magic Cream, not the Magic Cream like that one, just doesn't work for me in the autumn and the winter. And the Elemis Pro Collagen, they seem to have the right sort of consistency and thickness and, and, and soothingness. So but I'm going to give these a go. Okay, next up. Oh, focus, please. 
there we go okay so it is the green tea and aloe natural body polish by the lifestyle co let me see if it's no i see it oh, oh i can't actually get into it so i am gonna I'll be honest, I don't like the smell. It's a very strong, overpowering, florally smell. I expected it to smell woody and, and, and I like that, but it doesn't. It's a very strong, overpowering smell. What does it say it's got in it? It doesn't really. It doesn't tell you the undertones or anything, but I'm going to be honest, I'm not going to use this. I'm going to offer this up to one of my friends because the, strong, the scent is just... It's, it's too strong for me. Okay, so next up, another nice little box. Ooh, Necessaire, the body wash. Very nice. Cleanse, nourish and soften. Oh, it's got niacinamide, vitamin C, vitamin E, omega-6, omega-9. It's a gel. Scent, they say, is eucalyptus. So that should be quite nice, I would imagine. Let's have a look at it. Ooh. I'll get it out. Yeah, nice, nice, clean, straightforward bottle. Thing on the top there. Yeah, oh, now interestingly, in the lid there, there's some sort of oh, I think maybe. Oh, yeah, we're gonna peel this top bit off there when we're ready to use it, which I'm not because oh, yeah, it's like a little hole, and I'm guessing we just squeeze and it's gonna come out. That's cool, so I'm gonna take it off and dab it on. You should you should use less. Excited to try. Okay. Next we have a Summer Friday's product, the Overtime Mask. Huh. Let's see. Oh, pretty gold colour. Hmm. So what does it say about it? It said your skin cells work overtime, shedding and renewing themselves. But if they can't keep up the pace, your complexion gets a little cluttered. That's true. This clarifying mask uses vitamin-packed pumpkin, ooh, that's a nice autumn scent, isn't it? And exfoliating apricot seed powder to get dull skin back on track, gently polishing away dead skills for luminous results. I'm a sucker. Luminance, radiance, anything like that, I'm there. I'm a buying you. So I'm looking forward to that again when I get back from holiday. This is going to be something, and even on holiday, to be honest with you. Oh, it says AM and PM. So that is kind of cool. So what does it say? Apply a thick layer on cleansed, dry skin. Massage gently over face for 60 seconds. Avoiding the eye area. Leave on for 10 minutes, then wash off with warm water. Pat dry. Use twice a week or whenever skin looks dull. So twice a week is a very good thing. Sundays and Wednesdays tend to be my masking days. Um, so definitely going to be giving this one a roll. Okay, next up. Oh, you have some microfiber sweat towels pretty much says it all but you know what i'm going to take these away with me i can pack one so i can take it down to the hotel gym so as i'm going around and definitely one um i hate when i go to a hotel i always take my face like cloths and everything with me but i hate using their towels to take off like wash your face after you've taken your makeup off because even though i use one of those um i use the pads that you don't need to have any cleanser with them you just water i use that I then use my Elemis Pro Collagen Cleansing Balm. I will even go in with a, a wash again on top. And even then, sometimes there's still residue left. So a white towel in a hotel, my skin, I, I hate it makeup on there and I just get so embarrassed. So I always like to take a hand towel or like a flannel with me to actually use as a cloth just to dry my face. So one of these will be absolutely perfect. So good, good, good. Next up is a product by Indy Lee. Indy Lee Squalene Facial Oil. Squalene has lots of health benefits for you, so that's quite good. Oh, I love, I'm a huge, massive mint green fan, and I love a serum with a dropper on it because, I don't know, I feel like I make less mess. Let's try to have a that. I can't, I, there's nothing. There's no scent to that whatsoever, but, and I'm rubbing it onto my hand there. I don't know if my hand looks any better, but that, it's very dewy. You can kind of see around here where it is. Very, yeah, no scent at all, but very, very dewy. Feels ever so soft. I like that. And that's all in French. 
plump it up with this pure, intensive, nourishing moisture, oh, sorry, moisturizing oil. Readily absorbed, 100% olive-derived squalene, leaves the complexion soft, nourished, and best of all, never greasy. Good thing. Your skin's texture and tone will thank you. Apply to freshly cleansed skin, morning and evening. Mix with your favourite foundation for a dewy glow. Ooh. Now there's a foundation um, I want to try by Christian Dior and it's a matte foundation. Um, I'm going to get that when I get to the States and go to Sephora. But this, if you wanted to get a little bit of luminosity, this might actually work in with that. If you just felt like you needed a little bit extra, mix a couple of drops in. So it's just one final product. And it's a Glossier one. I so want to try a Glossier subscription. And if you've got a Glossier subscription, let me know down in the comments box if it is worth it. I can't get into the box, but let me know if it is worth it because I am really thinking of trying it. I'm getting quite fed up of my um, glossy boxes, we'll be honest with you. I haven't done a video on them for a while because I've been quite disappointed, but I am going to do the next one, which is going to be, no point doing yeah, September's. When I get September's, I get back, I will actually film it and give you my honest opinions because July and August, I wasn't that fast, I've got to be honest with you. But Glossier seems something. Now, this is a Future Dew, an oil serum hybrid. Apply two pumps all over your face as the last step in your skin routine. Add more to the high points of your face for extra glow. I mean, put that down. I mean, look, just look how pretty. Sorry, it's not focusing. How pretty that box is. It's just got a sheen. Oh, I'm excited. Okay. Maybe I should have shook it. So. It has got a scent. But it's not one I'm put off with. It kind of reminds me of when you go on a spa day. And it's got that like earthy smell to it, but I think it has given me just a lovely little, I don't suppose you can use it as a primer, but it does say last step in your skincare. So, I mean, heck, my skincare is already about 27,000 steps. So, I mean, adding all these products is going to be insane. I'm going to have to, I think I'm going to have to go through everything and make my, change my routines up a little bit and see, but I have to say, that's just giving it a lovely sort of, do you know, that'd be really, really good on um, a no makeup day because you, you do your skincare anyway, but you could kind of pop that on. And if you really wanted to, you could put a little bit of blush, a little bit of mascara and a little bit of lippy and you'd be kind of good. You don't need to go full on complexion. That would give you just a lovely like sort of glow and an even texture. So that's what I'll try. I might take it with me and try that on non makeup days, but that is it. That is like my whole box. I am really happy with it. Um, I'm a skincare freak. The packing cubes I'm excited to try. Um, this I'm excited for my husband to try so I will report back. But everything, the only thing I didn't like was the body polish and it's just because of the scent. So I will give that away but I'm going to use everything else and I'm going to do a roundup. Um, probably going to do a video next month for a roundup of like my fanfic fan per purchases or what's in the boxes. What I've really loved using and what I'd consider rebuying because People don't tend to do that. You see how good they are, but you don't get to see if they have really enjoyed them. So I'm going to do that every like three months. I'm going to do my top picks from my FabFitFun box as I've been trying them and see what I would repurchase. But I'm making both hands. They're both looking good. But yeah, this one, it just is, it kind of looks more even and dare I say it, not as age. So that is it. But thank you ever so much for watching. If you've liked the video, please click on like. Um, and if you're not already, please click on subscribe. Let me know anything you want me to film in the comment section and I will get to filming it. Um, next up is going to be the Charlotte Tilbury secret boxes. I managed to get my hands on both of those. So I'm going to film the two of those and do two separate ones for you. And I will have my glossy box and I'm going to film my Sephora hauls from America. Just because I'm I love Sephora Hall, so I love watching them, so I'm going to do that. But thank you, thank you, thank you. Have a really good day, and I'll see you soon. Bye, guys.